Hello everyone, it's Thursday. It's windy out. So my little huddle against the wind isn't really helping. Also, ow, I'm leaning on broken twigs and they are poking into my back. Can I just make faces at you for a while? I'm sleepy, which is fitting to the theme, yes, maybe? Oh, no, not really. Um, I'm just really sleepy today. And I think I might be coming down with something. It kind of feels like someone jammed cotton balls up my nose. I hear seagulls. You see what I'm seeing? That's what I see right now. I have a question for anyone who feels like answering. Do you often get book reports due like two days after you finish the book? Is that normal? Doesn't seem normal to me. There are people walking behind me. Story time. I couldn't get to sleep, and so I ended up watching things on YouTube, but it was hard to see the laptop, because my desk isn't quite at the right height for me to curl up in bed and watch my laptop. So I sort of built a fort underneath my bed, because it's raised a few feet, and I curled up, and I watched YouTube, and then I finally went to bed. Um, all this happened, I, like, I built my fort up and uh, moved underneath it w uh, when my roommate left the room for a few minutes, so she turned the light out and just left um, and didn't bring her key, naturally, which is why I couldn't fall asleep on top of the bed, because I'm insane and have nightmares about zombie infestations when people scream every few seconds. That's my immediate thought. Can you see the squirrel? Can you find the squirrel? I can. I swear you. Squirrel. Squirrel. You're a weird squirrel. I'm gonna keep watching you until you do something interesting. Because as soon as I take the camera away, I'm gonna do something interesting. Oh. Oh, he's making noise at me. Yeah, squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come and get some. You're like ten feet away. I could step on you. Squirrel. Squirrel. You're going to come after me, aren't you, squirrel? You are. I know that look. That's the look my cat gives me when he's about to bite me. But I want to finish telling the story about how my roommate is insane. Where are you going, squirrel? Yeah, that's right, I'm going to keep watching you. I'm going to follow you all the way up the tree. You and your freakish tail. Looks like a game glitch. It's got... Oh no, there's a branch in my way. Uh, I don't know where you went now, squirrel. Now I'm slightly more freaked out. Where'd the squirrel go? So, story time. Um, yeah, so I went under my bed and I curled up in my little bed for it. Yeah, squirrel? Yeah? You want some? Well, give it a minute and then I'll leave. And then you can get whatever it is you want. I was woken up at 12.10 by my phone ringing. And in my state of sleep, stupid, I thought it was my alarm clock, so I just turned it off. And then I looked at the time, and it was 12.10 a.m. So I got up, Adam, like, got up and crawled out from under the bed, and just as I did that, the door opened. So I'm just standing there next to my bed with the blanket wrapped around me, looking at my roommate and, like, half the floor while my roommate was asking if anyone knew where I was. And I was standing next to my bed. So everyone sort of died laughing when I said that I'd been under my bed, underneath my bed, uh, and it was very amusing. But, um, yeah, it's not really a very interesting story in hindsight. I suppose it is extra amusing to know that this is the second time this has happened. She just assumed that I was gone, um, despite the fact that all of my things were still in the room except my laptop. Anyway, I'm <laughs> just picking up. And I can't tell what is just the tree squeaking and uh, what is an army of um, angry rabbit squirrels coming to attack me. So I'm gonna go get my thermos and get some hot water for hot noodles. Bye. See Jacob tomorrow. See me next Thursday. Making faces. Not doing the theme proper justice except a story about how I didn't sleep. Wah! Can I just make kit noises at you?
Hello. That is my impression of Kit.